This is the Review Channel, and in this video, I'll review a pen from TD Bank. While most banks keep their pens tethered with chains to maximize profits from your overdraft fees, TD Bank is generous enough to hand out these pens by the truckload. Sadly, I missed out on the experience of entering a TD Bank to get this pen, since I found this pen on the floor of a Trader Joe's. TD Bank isn't my bank of choice, not due to their quality as a bank, but because blue is my favorite color, which defaults me to Chase Bank. This pen is 14.4 centimeters in length. The top of the pen with the clip has a diameter of 15 millimeters, while the middle of the pen has a diameter of 11 millimeters. The tip of the pen is five millimeters, with a two millimeter hole where the ballpoint protrudes. This pen has an overall weight of 9.8 grams, which is a bit heavier than a typical Bic crystal ballpoint pen. Looking at the pen up close, there's the distinct logo of TD Bank printed along the barrel of the pen with their slogan, America's Most Convenient Bank. The pen is made of a translucent green plastic that is fairly lightweight but can shatter easily with some force. While most pens will have a rubber sleeve added to the tip of the barrel for added grip, this pen has three flattened grooves near the tip. These provide a good grip and make it easy to position the pen between your thumb, index, and middle fingers. Most pens have a button to press at the top to extend the ballpoint, but this style has the clip and button built into the same unit. This pen has excellent feedback when pressing the clip, providing a loud and clear clicking noise. This can be very therapeutic for anyone with a nervous condition or wants to annoy their neighboring coworkers. The double spring design helps give firmness to the pressing action, with a spring loaded in the top clip and another spring along the ink cartridge inside the tip of the barrel. Disassembly of the pen is easy enough. The barrel screws off from the top with plastic threads along both pieces. Try not to disassemble the pen too often, otherwise you can wear down the plastic threads causing the pen to fall apart. From the barrel, the ink cartridge with the ballpoint tip can be removed. There's a small spring on the ink cartridge, held in place with two small wings that press the spring against the wall of the barrel. This provides the tension that pushes the ink cartridge against the mechanism in the clip, so it can click in and out. There's a good amount of ink in the cartridge that can last a long while, but this depends entirely on the pressure used when writing. This will allow you to write anywhere from a few hundred meters worth of words up to a few kilometers. The clip piece has several internal parts, as well as a stronger spring. This piece is harder to disassemble, and I wasn't able to fully remove all of the internal parts. One of the parts removed easily with tweezers, which is integral for the retractable action of the pen. Putting the pen to the test, it functions well for everyday use. The ink is black, so it can be used to fill out any important documents and checks. The ballpoint is smooth, but sputters ink occasionally when twisting and turning, and can skip small sections while writing. As a pen, this is amongst the most adequate of ballpoint pens. Watching myself write, I realize that I have the handwriting quality of a doctor, though I do lack the medical knowledge or overinflated ego. With some intense scribble action to test the limits of how much ink can be dispensed from the ballpoint, it mostly keeps up with the demand, but sputters blanks very often. Looking at the ballpoint up close, you can see the tiny ball bearing that sits at the tip, which spins freely and lets the ink flow out. Here, you can see the ballpoint dispense the ink onto the paper as the pressure on the ball pushes the ball in, allowing the ink to flow. This gives a smooth and omnidirectional quality to the pen, though it's not quite as refined as a fountain pen. The pen also works to apply ink to the skin, whether you're looking to make a temporary tattoo or put a face to a knucklehead for a few minutes of entertainment. Along the top of the pen is a marking with a series of numbers and letters. I looked this up and found out this was the patent number for this pen style. This patent was filed in 2007 and established in 2008, with a 14-year duration for the patent holder. The patent documents come with in-depth drawings of the style and build of this pen. After some research on the patent holder, I found the company Sunscope, which sells bulk orders of different office supplies and 81 different varieties of pen styles to rival the Bic Pen Company. Looking through their pen catalog, I was not able to find the exact pen that matches the TD Bank pen in my possession. This style of pen was the closest match to the TD Bank pen, but has a rubber grip around the tip and a different style of clip at the top. After searching around on their site and several competitors, I arrived at the conclusion that this style of pen is not available for sale to the public. 
There must be some kind of secret backdoor deal made with TD Bank that sells this pen to them and them alone. This style of pen will not be available from other manufacturers until the patent expires in 2022. Doing some more research on this TD Bank pen, I found a question and answer section on the TD Bank website. One of the users wanted to know if they needed to be a TD Bank customer to receive a TD Bank pen. Luckily, you can walk into any TD Bank during lobby hours to receive your free TD Bank swag. Though this does raise the question of why a non-TD Bank customer would go through the trouble of making an account on the TD Bank website to ask about getting a TD Bank pen. Some additional research revealed that this pen has played an integral part in TD Bank's success. This article from 2012 discusses the somewhat sexist decision to use pens without clips, attributing their success to their female customers. The version I have uses the clips as a vital part of the pen. At some point, they must have dropped their clipless pens for a clipful option. Moving on to the pros and cons, as a pro, this TD Bank pen is an easy to use and reliable ballpoint pen. It's wider than most Bic Crystal pens, which I like since my hands are a bit big. The three groove design near the tip adds comfort instead of the typical rubber sleeve option. These pens are offered free at any TD Bank location and you can grab them in abundance if you want. As answered on their website, you don't need to be a TD Bank customer to get a pen. So if you find yourself stranded without a writing instrument, just walk into any local branch and grab a few without being required to open a new checking account. Retractable pens should have a good clicky feedback, and this TD Bank pen provides an excellent click. I can click this pen all day. Moving on to the cons, despite their praise for clipless pens in 2012, it seems TD Bank has now optioned for pens with clips. This goes against their statement of using clipless pens to attract female customers who don't want a pen that will get stuck to items in their purse. Also, the clip cannot be removed since it's an important part of the design of the pen. Frankly, this pen is not much of a status symbol. With the TD Bank logo printed along the side, this pen does not carry the same clout as a pen with the logo of, say, Lehman Brothers or Enron. I wouldn't use this pen in a public setting for fear of being looked down upon. Overall, I have to rate my experience with this TD Bank pen at an 8 out of 10. This makes a great and useful everyday pen for any asinine task. I couldn't go higher than an 8 on the rating scale since I missed out on the important experience of walking into a TD Bank and getting this pen for free. I was lucky enough to find this pen on the floor in front of the refrigerated prepackaged salads in Trader Joe's. But walking into a TD Bank is half the fun of this pen. If you're looking for a free pen for everyday use, I'd highly recommend this TD Bank pen. You could just as easily buy a box of pens from an office supply store. But free is always better. This is the Review Channel. And if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.